Hello guys, Neon Tetra 1000 here, aka Mark. Follow up to my DBO1RRR video. This is my two wheel drive TRF car, 211XM. It was the last car the Tamiya Racing Factory team, or Tamiya made, two wheel drive, and probably my favorite car. It handles so well, it just soaks up the bumps. It's just great, and it just looks great. Just put a few hop ups on it, so I thought I'd make a video. We'll just put titanium blue turnbuckles on it. Still waiting on a set for the steering, though. Um, alloy rear hubs, one degree to give it four degrees total towing. Um, Phantom Proline Phantom body set, which is part of the reason why I wanted a two-wheel drive really I just love that shape of that shell so much looking at the internet pictures I thought I've got to have one they're really hard to find and that one cost me 50 to buy clear and luckily I've just found another one clear on a bulldog shell so I can have a couple more made up um, what else let's take the top off So we've got the blue uh, uh, alloy steering horn because it's got a built-in servo saver. Um, that's it really, I thought I'd put more hop on it but I can't think what they are at the moment. I think that might be it. Um, white, you can see the white engineering plastic chassis which makes this car really one of a kind stand out and I just love it because it's so lightweight and so strong it's not like a metal one you could bend it if you case a jump but this I think you could run it over in a truck and it would pop back to shape so I don't know why more cars don't have that really I think it's such a great idea uh, oh yeah I'll just put the uh, hex conversion because that normally comes with pin drive wheels but I'll put the alloy 12 mil hexes on there so i can use the wheels off my four wheel drive and uh, some people upgrade the front hubs to b5 hubs which use 12 mil hex but i need to get all the parts for that oh that's an upgrade exatech thumb screws i think they're a nice little upgrade look nice as well uh, i've got the vented slipper plates i'm not sure if they're standard or not on this car but they're a nice touch uh, that's it really just thought I just wanted to make a document of all my cars from now on because I've had hundreds of cars and sold them and forgot about them so I'm just keeping a record now because a few people on Tamiya Legends seem to be quite interested in them which is nice so yeah that's it really I've got a speed control and a motor waiting to go in it and some new tyres once I sold all that up, I'll be taking it racing on a Tuesday night and a Sunday outdoors. And I'll get some more videos when I take it racing. So I think that's it. So thanks guys and my next video will probably be a vintage. I've got a little custom job in the works which is a cross between an Avanti and an Egress. Using the best bits of both cars so stay tuned for that. Hopefully I'll end up doing that soon. Alright, thanks for now guys. See ya.